Yo, let's talk about the top three transfers that I currently use. Big Scythe. Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching The Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you gotta do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there, and I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. That damn school, Big Brando! Let's go! What's happening, everybody? Boy, Big Brando, and today, let's talk about Supercolor and Transfer Express. Now, the information shared in this video is in no special order. These are just the companies that I've been using for the past couple years without having to go to any other companies, period. So, first things first is Supercolor. By now, you already know Supercolor has taken over the multicolor transfer space. Since they showed up, they've made a name for themselves. But we all know when you come out that strong, there is gonna be a lot of hate that comes with being one of the industry's leaders. Now, personally, this is the company that I use for all of my multicolor transfers. You guys already know this. You guys seen all the videos that I make about super color transfers, how I use them, the prints they produce, what the gang sheets look like, what the gradients look like. I got instructional tutorials on how to lay down super color transfers. It's no secret. Biggest reason I use them is consistent Consistency of quality. A lot of people don't understand what that means. But also a lot of people watching these videos aren't ordering a lot of transfers all the time. They might place the order three months later, they might place another order. Three months later, they might place another order. I order transfers weekly. Sometimes it's a reprint. Maybe I ordered a hundred of a certain transfer with certain designs. And then the following week, I need to order 300 of that same exact order. And then a week later, I might have to order another 300 of that same exact order. Consistency is key when I'm doing that. Reason being is my client already knows the the quality and feel and look of that print. And if the colors start to be off, if the quality starts to be off, if it starts to feel different or look different, the client is gonna be mad. I never run into that issue when I use Supercolor. So that's why I continue to use them because they provide the same exact quality every single time. As a business owner myself, I need that consistency from a transfer company. Now outside of that, turnaround time is a big deal for me. You already know that. They turn around transfers in like two days, no matter the size of the order. Just recently, I placed the order for four different gang sheets at 150 each, and it was turned around in two days. So when you're looking for a transfer company, make sure you're looking for quality, but also consistency. A lot of people look at price first. I'm one of them. You wanna find the best transfer for the cheapest price possible. But a lot of times that cheap price comes with inconsistencies in the quality. And if you're willing to sacrifice that, then cool. But for myself, it's not worth losing a client over. So I like to stay with the companies that provide the best quality every single time. Now at the top of the video, you heard me talk about Transfer Express. And you're like, if you already use Supercolor and you think so high of them, why are you, why are you using Transfer Express also? For one, it's good to have options. I always talk about having a backup to the backup to the backup, but also sometimes I just need single color transfers. A lot of the prints that I do, a lot of the designs I do are single color. Not all of them are multicolor. So when it comes to single color transfers, and I need that straight plastisol screen printed ink on a gang sheet, I'm rolling with Transfer Express. Two reasons. Goof Proof and Hot Split. These are two ink formulas that I use all the time and I use them for different reasons. First, Hot Split, one of the softest feeling transfers ever. For some of the brands that I run and for some of the clients that I have, they enjoy this soft feeling transfer. They enjoy the look of it. They enjoy the feel of it. And especially when it's pressed onto a t-shirt with a 50-50 blend, ring spun cotton, or something that has a softer, lighter feel. You use the softer, lighter transfer on there, perfect match. But I don't just use hot split on 50-50 blended t-shirts. I also use it on 100% cotton t-shirts, jersey cotton t-shirts, mainly because there's no adhesive on the back. Most of you guys know this now, transfers have adhesive on the back. That's what helps the ink to apply to the t-shirt for whatever reason. I don't know the science behind it, but Transfer Express has figured out how to mix that adhesive into the ink with their hot split transfers. So some people might have used different companies before other transfer companies that notice like a clear ghosting glue line around their whole design. Sometimes it could be from bad registration. Sometimes it could be from excessive adhesive on the back. Who knows? 
But with the hot split transfers, there is no adhesive. You never get that ghosting. You never get that clear glue line. It's mixed into the ink. Like I said, I don't know the science behind it, but I enjoy that about their transfers, and that's why I use Hot Split. Now, you also heard me mention Goof Proof. Goof Proof has to be one of the easiest transfers to lay down, period. But besides that, I use this transfer for heavyweight t-shirts. This year, I've noticed a weird trend in people using heavyweight boxy t-shirts, like the Pro Clubs and Shakas and stuff like that. And on a heavyweight t-shirt using this heavier print, looks good feels good very opaque print very easy to lay down and a clean transfer to use most of you guys already know this but i use all style t-shirts that moved over to american apparel 1701 has been my go-to t-shirt to use i've been using it for years my clients like it my customers like it because of the rebranding because of the inconsistencies of being able to find that blank t-shirt i started looking for other options and I started testing out a lot of different options with different clients of mine and for some of the brands that I run just to see what the feel is like if I have to switch over blank t-shirts, how do my paying customers react to it? What I started to notice was a lot of people started gravitating towards the heavier t-shirts. Maybe it's a trend thing, maybe it's a preference thing, but most of this year I've been testing out a few different blank t-shirts and a lot of my clients and a lot of my customers are leaning towards the heavier weight feeling t-shirts. So with that heavier weight t-shirt, I started using Goof Proof a lot more. And to be quite honest with you, on the heavier feeling t-shirts, I've been using Super Color and Goof Proof mainly on those shirts. Hot Split feels good, looks good on those t-shirts, but my customers have been really, really liking the Goof Proof transfer on heavier t-shirts. So for my brands and stuff that I run that's going on these heavier 100% cotton t-shirts, it's been mainly super color and goof proof on them. Now, if you wanted to order any of these transfers, I'll leave the link in the description for anybody that wants to do a little bit more research. You don't have to buy through those links, but you can do a little bit more research, read up on these transfers, order some sample packs from these companies, compare prices and do whatever you have to do. You do not have to use the same transfers that I use, but I do wanna make it easier for anybody looking for the information that I use. I leave it all in the description box for you. Super color, I use the wearable transfers. If you're doing polyester, you can use the sub blocker one that they offer. If you're pressing on hats, you can use the headwear transfers that they offer. If I were you, I would just order a bunch of samples from them and test it out. For Transfer Express, Hot Split and Goof Proof are my go-tos. They offer a lot of different transfers, Ultra Color Max, Ultra Max Color, whatever that's called. That's a multicolor transfer. Comes in huge gang sheets, like two feet by two feet or, or whatever it is. I highly recommend. Order some samples, test them out, see what you like and what you don't like about them. You gotta make sure that you can lay these transfers down. I know I could lay these transfers down and that's why I use them. Now I'm making this video so you do not have to ask, hey man, what transfers are you using? This is free game, I'm letting you know out the gate. I use Super Color, I use Transfer Express. These are the ink formulas I use, these are the t-shirts I press them on, these are the reasons why I like these ink formulas. Hopefully this information finds you well. If you use a different transfer company, cool. No harm, no foul. I don't hold it personally. But for whatever reason, people start to get mad in comments whenever I make transfer videos like, what about this company? How come you don't use this company? I use the companies I like. These are the companies that I like. If I don't talk about the companies that you use, that means I either don't use them or I don't like them. It's all personal preference. You don't have to try to convince me on why your company is better than the companies that I use. You don't have to try to convince me on pricing or gang sheets or whatever it is. There's no argument to be had. I use what I like to use. You use what you like to use. That's it. It's not a pissing contest. I try to make these videos as easy as possible for everybody out there. These are the companies that I use. If I don't talk about the companies that you use, that means I don't use them. I don't have to make a video saying why I don't use certain companies. I just don't make videos about them at all. I make the information easier for the people to hear what transfer companies I use. So there is no confusion. You know what I mean? If you got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments follow me on Instagram Big Brando TV and if you were looking for more information about any transfer company out there check the links in the description box all right catch you guys on the next one man yeah